All right, this is Chris from Lifter LMS. I just had a, uh, a teardown of a sales page of one of my online course pages from Tony. And I gotta say it was so helpful for me, even as a guy who understands the web and marketing to have Tony come in and point out some glaring ways to improve the sales page, to help conversion, to help with the brand, to help with the messaging and even identify some bigger uh, picture issues around like uh, some of the unintentional messages I was sending. An example of that would be, uh, he pointed out a way where it was, I was discounting my brand like right out of the gate and taught, helped me understand how to add value out of the gate instead of take away to achieve the goal of building the email list. So it was, it was super helpful. I just got to say thank you, Tony. Awesome. Yeah. So we, we doubled back to make this video just because I, it's, I'm not sure how quickly we get into really uh, the meat and this is the goal here is just to say, like, give it some time. I think we do some really good stuff on a sales page about permaculture, which if you're not well versed in, uh, there's a little bit of education in that space as well. Uh, but really excited. I think there's some really good uh, gems in the video, and I look forward to doing more with you, Chris. Awesome. Yeah, so stay tuned and watch the rest of the video. You'll see Tony break down the site. And just in the back of your mind, be thinking how can what – you learn here about my sales page apply to your course description or course sales page. Hey, hello everyone at Lifter LMS. I want to introduce you to Tony Ubertasio. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. If not, correct me. Tony's a, uh, a brand strategist and he helps small businesses and solopreneurs with their marketing and messaging. Uh, it's really important for every online course entrepreneur to get the sale, not just make engaging online courses. So Tony's going to help us today and do a breakdown of a course sales page. This is actually one of my old sales pages for a permaculture gardening course. And I uh, hope, hope you guys get a lot of wisdom today from Tony's teardown of mine. And we're, and uh, just want to introduce you guys to Tony, and we're going to be seeing more of him around here at Lift Your Nuts. Right on. Well, it's great to be here, Chris. Um, I'm going to, I mean, we can talk more. We can just kind of dive right into it. I think we dive in. This is pretty much the first time I have seen screen share uh, this web page. You sent it to me like three minutes ago, right? Yeah. All right. So let's look at this together. You can see my screen. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm just going to do something real quick. So a minute ago, I don't know what happened. I think it's because I, I left the page and came back. There was a pop-up that happened uh, over here. And I wanted to note that. It was a pop-up that gives a uh, discount code. Exactly. So like over here, there was a uh, AppSumo or Sumo Me pop-up that said like, want 10% discount, uh, put your email here, and the discount works on any of the courses. Um, I want to just say out of the gate without, see, I have no idea what this page is. It says organic life guru. Uh, I do not know what I'm getting into. All I know is that you're already ready to discount your price. And that is not necessarily a good sign to me. Um, it shows that the price is necessarily already inflated. Um, Otherwise, you would just have a lower price and one that you're confident in. So in terms of a first touch with a customer, that red flagged me. Um, another thing I'd say is that in the first, you know, they call this the above the fold. So I have something that's showing in front of this bar. I'm going to see if I can figure out how to. I'm gonna, all right. So uh, permaculture design course click here. We're not going to click there yet. We're going to assume that people just kind of scroll, but like in the first millisecond, I have no idea what's happening on the site other than permaculture design course video and that you were ready to give me 10% off. Um, so it's, it's a mixed bag of feelings for me. Let's see what happens when we scroll down. Um, try and remove that little, uh, little bar or green fuzzy thing. In the I can't see it by the way. You can't see this green little fuzzy thing. No, I can't. Oh, that thing I can. Yes. All right. Um, well, so we'll just leave it there. Um, all right. And then, I mean, I, I don't want to get nitpicky 
to an extreme level here. Uh, but this content, the copy here, is just not like overly inviting to read. Uh, in part, on, on my computer, I'm only working with a 13 inch desktop right now, or 13 inch uh, laptop, and it's small. And this is a 10 line paragraph, hard to read. So visually, there's just no hierarchy in what's being said. Um, and ideally, on a, on a sales page or a landing page, uh, it's just like crystal clear and it pulls eyeballs down the page. Right now, this section, completely overwhelming. Have, haven't even looked at the words yet because it's hard to. Uh, and depending on what the words say, I, I think that is huge um, for, for a sales page. It's just like you, we want to make this as clean and as welcoming and as soft for a first time viewer's eyes, they're gonna wanna just scroll down quickly and have a sense of what's happening. Um, and at least in this first full screen width, very hard to get a sense of what's happening quickly. Uh, further down about the instructor, Scott Pittman. Okay, this is all better. Headers help me read it faster. Goals creating an online permaculture course, philosophy. All right. Um, all right, so let's just play the game. Let's go to click here for design and permaculture course. That's a hello bar that's throughout the whole site that drives you to our best product right here. So it's showing up here too. Got it. So hello bars, I'm generally cool with. And so it's taking me to the same page that we were just on, except yeah. now there's a uh, take this course. Was it not on that front page? Uh, it's not the home page of the website. It was... It's just, uh, this is the only page that's like a loop where it would take you to the same place, but from every other page on the site, it will take you here. Okay. Um, got it. So what, what page was I on? If not the home page, I was on, you were on the sales page for an individual course, which is, uh, yeah, there you go. So I was on permaculture course design. And so this is a loop to the same page. Got yeah. it. Um, and does that 10% discount show up on all the pages? It shows time? up, uh, every, for every user, the first time they come and then that resets every three days, every three days. Okay. Um, cool. So lessons, visual hierarchy is a little broken. Free is patterns, more patterns. Those free lessons are like free samples. Like you can mm -hmm. see that lesson without having to buy the course. Thirty-four minute video. Interesting. All right. So I mean, I don't want to go too deep into a dive into permaculture because I don't know if that serves your entire audience. Um, but what I'll what I'll say is that. I'm landing on the page and we haven't done a full website review. Uh, and I think that would probably be valuable at this point, but um, landing on this page, it doesn't instantly say, you know, who this page is for. I wonder if I can, yes. Okay, cool. Who this page is for. So it's like, what, what are we selling on this page? It's a design course so that you can build your own course in designing permaculture. It's a, it's a course about, uh, in this particular niche, it's like a rite of passage for people who do permaculture that they need to go through a permaculture design, an official permaculture design course and get a certificate. Okay. This particular, the particular online version here, they don't get this, the actual certificate, but they can still get the same material. What does a certificate get you? Uh, like what, what is the why? Why would someone do that? The, the in-person one, like when you get the real certificate, mm -hmm. you can, uh, it helps you get jobs or it may be some kind of uh, credit at school. For this one, for the online version, uh, it's for the people who really want the knowledge, but they want, they don't have the, it's a lot cheaper. This is like $2,000 or something live and you have to fly to another country and you have to, um, take two weeks out of your, or 10 days out of your life to go take it. 
So this is for people who just want the knowledge and the information. They don't care about the credentials. They just want to learn a, the complete permaculture design, per, you know, philosophies and material from one of the leaders in the industry. Cool. So, you know, can, you can see this uh, rewritten something here, right? But yeah. Take next step in your, I, I don't know, permaculture career is the verbiage there, but are you ready it's to either, I just, I just add it's either for a career or just for their own. A lot of people do it just to transform their own piece of property or they're like, let's say they're a city planner and they want to transform their town. So it's, it's for a job or it's for your property or it's, you know, for a community. The, the target audience is uh, they're, they're a combination of like young people with big dreams, like 20, early 20s, or they're older people with property looking to make their land, you know, get the most out of their land and be ecologically conscious and that kind of thing. Right, right, permaculture, permaculture, designer. Ready to access the uh, knowledge of a master permaculture designer without traveling to the other side of the world. Now I have a sense of what this is. So um, what, what, what this is trying to do is talk about features versus benefits. So right now you're talking about this is a feature. This happens to be some a product. You're calling it a widget. This is a course around permaculture design. Mm -hmm. I don't know the industry, don't pretend to, but I know that calling it a design course makes it commodity-like. Mm -hmm. um, so a better angle is to talk about this master permaculture designer, uh, Scott Pittman, who people otherwise would spend thousands of dollars not just in, for the education, but on the flight, on the lodging, on the books, on whatever it is. And now you can have that uh, access. You can have the ear um, and the brain of the master designer without that massive time suck and expense. Um, and now all of a sudden it's like, okay, this is benefit focused. So the benefits, you have all that information. You don't have to travel around the world. That's interesting. You can get it, you know, the information faster at your leisure. You can do it nights, weekends, when the kids are asleep. Um, and now all of a sudden, you change the sales page to, to, to that. So it's not so much just principles and foundations of sustainable design, but it's in this done for you, ready to learn as you're ready to uh, access it, uh, coursework. And to me it instantly becomes uh, way more interesting. So now as I read and we spend some time, I'm skipping this for now, but topics covered in the permaculture design course, like interesting, interesting, interesting to a point, but like, you know. And that's just a mirror of the lessons within the course, by the way, so, which are also displayed at the bottom. Exactly. So we're double dipping on, on these what's on these features like here's what you're going to learn but let's talk about why you're going to learn it so like who is the ideal client and who is the ideal uh participant here it's someone with a deep desire you know like uh who this course is for right and if we did a paragraph here on like uh enthusiasts who don't need the certificate, like stay at home, uh, like want to design their backyard or their property in a way that is both beautiful to the eye, but also like in terms of ecology, the best way to do it for the most like vibrant yard and habitat, like that all of a sudden is something that makes sense. And so I think there's a very specific type of person who's going to, see this page and maybe get like, Oh, I was really, uh, I really am interested in learning about wildlife management and biological pest control. Other one might say, uh, someone who has massive sprawling property doesn't know how to take care uh, of the 
insert whatever bugs that eat their plants. Um, and so, I mean, on a quick hit, and I don't want to, I don't want to go too deep here into uh, permaculture. I think that the things that stand out to me, and we'll we'll recap, and then Chris, if there's anything uh, that you think we we can still touch on, we'll absolutely do it. But the things that stand out is on landing on the sales page. Very little, if anything, is communicated here. I'm not going to eat up six minutes to watch the video, um, but I think it would be great to preview what's going to happen on the rest of this page. Um, you can do that with a great header that says, are you ready? You know, something like uh, ready to access the knowledge of a master permaculture designer without traveling to the other side of the world to learn from him directly. Get ready to, you know, check out this page. Um, visual hierarchy uh, and being very direct and upfront with not only what's going to be in it, right? So these, these lessons or these modules, but what are the outcomes? So now that you have uh, uh, an understanding of the principles of natural systems, what does that mean to the customer, right? Uh, what will they get at a $225 investment and how does that compare to the alternative. Like what is the alternative? It's, it's, you know, 10 books on design, which all are coffee table size books cost 40 bucks each. Uh, you're already spending $400 right there at like, boom. Um, the alternative is flying to Costa Rica to learn from this guy, $4,000 investment. Uh, like what are the alternatives? Let's spell it out. Let's take even more time. Let's worry a little bit less about what's inside of it. Um, in terms of the lessons and talk about what the outcomes will be when someone decides to join you and to, and to take this course. Uh, Chris, how's that sound? That's awesome. Yeah, that's really good feedback. I can't wait to uh, sit down with the recording and go through all your points and look at the who and the why because you're totally right. We're just selling features here. Yeah, and, and then the other thing which we, which we hit right in the very beginning is like, I, I, I am very apprehensive about leading the, with the first touch as like, here's a discount, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think that you, the, the goal here is to communicate that this is the best option online uh, for the exact type of person that you're trying to sell to. And it's already at an incredible price compared to the alternatives. What would your advice be on just a generic pop-up that would work on every page that would be more appropriate? Because the goal um, is to build the email list. Right. That's what that's there for. Understood, understood. But it's also to build the email list with the type of people uh -huh. who see actual value from you, not just cost savings. And I think value and cost are two different things. Mm -hmm. um, you can have a low price and a high value. You can have a high price and a, and a low value. And, and if we're just trying to drive our own cost down as a way to communicate value, I think that's a misalignment uh, of, the, of the true uh, definition of the words. So I think um, without really having a sense of what happens on the rest of the website, on this page at least, uh, it would be something along the lines of a sample course or... Um, so like you, there are the free lessons here. Yeah, yeah. I think I think and those are really good, and not just people would be into that even if they're looking at a different course. Right, and and I think that there's something there. So I thought the 34 minute video could feel a little overwhelming, mm -hmm. but if you popped up something that said, um, you know, we thank you for coming to the site as a welcome. We'd love to show you a little bit about what it looks like on the inside of one of our courses. Mm -hmm. Sign up here and we'll send you a module that does X, Y, and Z and you'll learn A, B, and C is an example. Perfect. Um, yeah. I, I, another one is, um, you know, like I'm thinking around the option of, of, of like a bonus type feature outside of just uh, here's, here's a free sample. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, we offer exclusive bonuses to people who are on our mailing list before they purchase. Um, 
as an alternative. Like I'm not, I'm not pro discount. I am pro the idea of saying uh, we add a, a value above and beyond to people who are on our mailing list. Um, and I, and I absolutely agree that the goal is to get anyone who actually comes to this website to join your mailing list. Uh, but outside of, you know, rolling the dice on, will this lesson mean anything to anyone? I think it's totally compelling and totally legit. If you were to say, listen, people are on our mailing list, get a, uh, you know, exclusive bonuses, office hours, access to the, you know, the, the, the teacher, Scott Pittman. Um, and I, I think that one of those two things are probably going to be the, the best play. Let me ask you two more questions, if I may. Of course. What, uh, <clears throat> like, let's assume just I can only have one hello bar site wide. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it makes me realize I'm just pointing people to the what of like our best course or, or not necessarily our best course, but a course we're trying to feature that we recently released. Um, so it just says permaculture design course, click here. Like if you hit the homepage for the first time and mm -hmm. what's a better message up there. And that's one question. And the second question is I'm using Vimeo pro to host my videos. The right. video is quality is like really good. And that video I think actually does a pretty good job of selling the course, but what it with Vimeo pro and YouTube, you can put a placeholder like slide. Mm -hmm. that, that picture of the people by the river is just a Doing ra nothing. random slide, but what kind of, what, what should I put in a slide or from a content, from a design perspective? Like what, what do you recommend there? So those, are, I mean, those are great questions. I, uh, should I go back to sharing the screen? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to sharing the screen real quick. Um, Google Chrome share screen. So a thought is that I'm so I, I get the idea and I and I see what the hello bar can do and the value that it's done hit, or created historically. I am not a huge buyer of hello bars for everyone. Yeah. Um, and I think that if if organic life guru uh, just on its own communicated what it wanted its users to do, mm -hmm. the need for a hello bar would be greatly diminished. Right. So like a tagline under the name, maybe Is exactly okay. uh, a tagline under the name or, and I, I'm having a hard time. I'm just going to refresh this. Um, having a homepage with a above the fold call to action uh, that communicates what it is that you guys do. So learn from the world, stop organic growing experts. That makes some sense. Is getting started, where does that take you? Uh, just to a list of course, uh, just all the courses without anything else. Uh, okay. Paid Interesting. So my, my thought is, that knowing that you want to drive someone to uh, your best course, perhaps say, learn about our best course, like make it ex explain what permaculture design course is intending to do. Like, what does this mean? This is a, again, we're talking features benefits. This is a very um, like widget. It, there's no actual statement here. There's no call to action other than click here. So say our best performing permaculture design course is now available or have you, have you seen our permaculture design course, new bonuses added to the permaculture design course, check it out now. Um, I think that those type of things where it's like above and beyond, it's, it's not just what there's a permaculture design course, it's why like what's in it for them? Why are they going to click on it? It's new. It's been updated. There's new bonuses surrounding it. It's the highest performing. Um, just got uh, reviewed by some plant magazine that says like this is the best online course uh, coursework around the in the in the subject matter. Those type of 
uh, added verbiage up there without it getting too wordy, I think is, is the play. Um, because now there's context above and beyond just there's a permaculture design course. That's awesome. Is that actually decent? Does that make sense? Super helpful. Okay. Um, can you see the, the my definition here? Yeah, that's cool. All right. So, I mean, yeah, so it's like really not even saying something. Environmental design, design course, um, water resources are cool. Yeah. So, I, I would say I would make it more exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and I think click here is, you know, just a, at least a hair week could be learn more. Um, it could be check it out, you know, cl click here. It's not that strong. And then on this video, uh, it, I think it would come down to what's, what actually is delivered inside of the video. Uh, the video is uh, phenomenal. It's like full of social proof and, uh, it just explains what it's all about. It was really, we did a really pro job on it. You can yeah, go ahead and just show a little can, of it. Can you hear it through your speakers yes. as well? The permaculture hints. So, I, I think this is one of my hiccups. Permaculture design course uh -huh. is not a strong course name. It's a, uh, part of it was for the keyword like so you, but you know to help so like what, what if it was like looking for permaculture design course colon for the xxx who xxx like um that's master, a great idea master permaculture design course right it, it's it, to me it's it's a amazon.com play it's like what in, they say Tim Ferriss wrote the four hour work week and all of his book titles by looking on amazon.com and saying what structure is used by the best courses. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's the four hour work week colon how to make more do less travel the world and be the new rich, like whatever it says. Um, and I think that that will answer some of the questions like these permaculture design course, I think begs some questions, mm -hmm. uh, for who, what's the benefit, Why? what's the benefit? Why? So like, you know, four week permaculture design course, uh, Matt, you know, I, I, this guy, I'm, I'm assuming Scott Pittman is, <laughs> is a big deal. Um, but Scott, you know, Scott Pittman's permaculture design course for, beginners for at home uh, novices for uh, college students. It, it just permaculture design, design course sounds like saying marketing course, right? It's too generic. Yeah. Would you sign up for marketing course? Would you go to a WordPress user mastermind retreat? <laughs> right. No, yeah. you know, you wouldn't. Right. Um, and so I think this is one of the hiccups for me is just the name. And I, and I, it took me a while to realize that. Um, but I think that there's, there's room here to just strengthen the messaging top down from the title of the course. That's awesome. Uh, so we'll, we'll skip ahead and their sustainability and recreate them in the home environment. My name is Durga. I am a co-teacher of the permaculture design course. A permaculture course is about learning to design. So it integrates many concepts and sciences from Very architecture cool. to agriculture. So it's a doorway um, into a new way of thinking and designing our lives. There's a hands-on component of almost every section of permaculture. So, Is that uh, so far yeah, here, we've done uh, water harvesting uh, for overland flow, sheet cool. flow, Where is he water, based out of? channel flow. Uh, the Permaculture Institute is in uh, New Mexico, I believe, but it's a global thing. He's the, it's, um, he's kind of leads up the Permaculture Institute from the, 
uh, this side of the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, he does these permaculture design courses happen all over the world. And Scott's well known in the, um, as a leader in the space. Awesome. So, yeah, I, I, I think, I think it would really come down to just a side of a outside of doing a thing like the single page teardown where yeah. it's, uh, you know, clearly description <laughs> needs, like needs a description as well. Uh, you know, <laughs> what are you describing? So it may be actually putting a description in there, uh, could be valuable. Um, you know, there's, there's value again in making the written word have a hierarchy, uh, visual hierarchy at least. But I think above and beyond all that, it just, it would really come down to us having a conversation about mm -hmm. who would actually pay $225 for this. And then let's get really clear on how they need to hear what this course does. Right. It's to me, it's less about, will you learn how to use a hoe and a pickaxe? Um, then what does it mean when you finally know how to use a hoe and a pickaxe? Or what does it mean when you finally know how to properly plant perennials? Like they'll come to life faster. They'll survive longer. You won't have to repurchase these trees that you've been trying to have grow on your property that shouldn't grow because you have these type of, you know, like I don't know the meat, but it, it's to me, it's less about, uh, and I'm going to choose anyone land arts and community activism right. and, and the, what that means. And so, you know, in, inspire and engage, uh, your neighborhood, mm -hmm. you know, teach your grandchildren the power of nature and the importance of caring for, uh, land. Um, it, it's those things and it's a really, it's way more personal. And I think that people will gladly, gladly pay 225 when you talk about, you know, the investment that they're already making into sustaining their yards, their properties. Uh, it, it, you're talking about people who are building, um, shared, um, community spaces or, uh, like, like civil engineering type property work. $225 is literally, it's a, it's nearly forgettable in, in, in terms of the, the net expense that I imagine these people are willing and able to, to spend. And so red flag is discounting it at 10%. Um, and another just missing the mark is not telling the story of why it's so important that they hop on board and do this as compared to the alternative of buying the 10 books uh, flying out to New Mexico, spending 14 days taking the courses with him uh, in the Permaculture Institute. That's awesome. Well, I really appreciate it, Tony. That's that's solid insight, uh, and yeah, that's just a lot of clarity. I know what I need to do now. So awesome. So thank you, thank you so much for that. It, it goes without saying, Chris. Uh, the pleasure is mine, but like reach out this, I, I'm, it is always an iterative process. Uh, but I'm excited. Uh, we, we've talked you and I about doing this more often, especially, especially for the lifter LMS community, uh, teardowns or just group conversations and, and look at people's, uh, sales pages. And so whatever, however I can serve you in the community, please let me know. Absolutely. Well, uh, Tony's going to be in the, he's in the Lifter LMS Facebook group and I really want to hear in there if anybody's interested in a, uh, having a tear down, uh, it would be public. So, but I think it's really important to be vulnerable. And like for me, I'm putting this old sales page out there and I'm totally open to the feedback. So if anybody's open to that and in doing that, um, inside of Lifter LMS so that other people can benefit from the video. Like I hope you're getting value from this video and thinking about your sales page. Please let us know in the comments or send me an email, Chris at LifterLMS.com. And if you're looking for something, uh, you know, more private, Tony, what, how do you want them to get a hold of you? Yeah. So I'm, as you said, in the Lifter LMS Facebook group, uh, but you, you should be able to see Tony Ubertacio on the video. Um, so it's T-O-N-Y-U-B-E-R-T-A-C-C-I-O. Tongue twister. 
first grade was very difficult. <laughs> Longer than everyone else just to get the quizzes started, but uh, that is my URL. That's my website. You can find me very easily, Tony at TonyUbertacio.com. That's awesome. And just to throw it out there one more time, if you're open to having a public teardown so that everybody can benefit from it, just, just let us know. And that, you know, that doesn't cost you anything. It's just a way of um, you know, getting some input, but also sharing with the community some good concepts that maybe apply to their sales page. And if you want to do something private, go seek out Tony and, uh, and have a discussion with him. So thank you, Tony. I really appreciate your time. Pleasure is mine.